Point of order, Debbie Abrams. Thank you so much, Madam Deputy Speaker. Madam Deputy Speaker, on the 10th of May, I wrote to the Secretary of State for Work and Pensions, raising my grave concerns about her department's investigation into and recording of claimant deaths uh, and how they may be associated with the DWP. I raised concerns under her predecessors that coroner's letters and peer reviews were not sent to Dr. Paul Litchfield the independent review expert reviewing the work capability assessment in 2013. And I also asked for information on claimant deaths after being found fit for work following a work capability assessment and deaths after a PIP award was reduced or refused since 2015. I received a reply from the Minister for Disabled People today, nearly two months later. He said, and I quote, that the department does not hold any information on the 2010-2014 peer reviews due to, and I quote again, the length of time since the reviews were carried out, factors such as document retention policies, organisational changes and staff turnover. <coughs> Madam Deputy Speaker, we're talking about, uh, about the circumstances of people's deaths about five years ago. To tell me that these documents can't be found <coughs> smacks at least at incompetence and at worst of a cover-up. I seek your guidance on how to ensure that the government ensures that firstly the DWP keeps proper records and reports back to the House outcomes of an investigation on these missing documents and secondly heeds my call for an independent inquiry into all deaths linked to the government's social security reforms. Well, I, I thank the Honourable Lady for her point of order and for having given me <coughs> notice that she intended to raise such an important point of order. Once once again, I, I, I hope that I can have some silence. I hope that I can have some silence from the other side of the house. She raises an extremely important matter, uh, and again, one literally of life and death. Uh, the honourable lady knows that this is not a matter uh, on which I can give advice or any ruling from the chair. But she has used uh, the, the vehicle of a point of order to make sure that the Treasury bench and the, the appropriate ministers are aware of the issue that she uh, is raising. And I'm quite sure that it, it will be drawn to the attention of the appropriate minister. And I would hope that any minister having responsibility for the matters which the Honourable Lady has just described will wish to take steps to make sure that what she has asked for is properly fulfilled. If that doesn't occur, then the proper advice I can give the Honourable Lady is that she should seek the advice of the table office uh, as to other ways in which she can bring this matter once again to the floor of the House.